What's up YouTube, Hayden back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as our new altcoin EOS. So shout out to Marcos H for writing that in the comments below. Uh, you were the lucky guy who I got to choose, so you will be shouted out in today's video. So congrats to you. Um, just to quickly before we get into everything, I want you guys to know that we are doing uh, still a giveaway for the bitcoin t-shirt so if you'd like to enter that bitcoin uh, tank top if you want to enter that like comment and subscribe to the page turn on post notifications and leave a comment below saying raffle so i know that you want to enter it otherwise um i had a few commenters tell me that they want me to open a donation or it's a good idea to open a donation um wallet so i'm gonna put up a link above me uh, of my address that is a donation wallet uh, i'm gonna use that money to basically get me a trading view live like a pro account so thank you uh for all those who are donating or who are going to donate i appreciate that so much and i'm shocked that you guys came up with the idea so i i think that's a really great idea and a really good investment uh hopefully you guys saw the last video uh when i went live Took me a few time, a few tries to figure out how to do it, but I think I got it down pretty good. So I'm gonna try and do a couple more of those throughout um, my channel. Otherwise, let's just jump right into it. We are on the cryptocurrency coin market cap, and if I refresh the page, you'll notice that we are having a slight, we're a slight downtrending day. Things do seem to be slightly in the down position. Market cap 330 billion, so we're kind of a little bit lower than 350, and we we've seen 700 billion before, so that's pretty wild. But yeah, the major blue chip tokens are are down today, so that's a pretty much a good indicator that the rest of the market is going to be following pursuit. Moving on, Litecoin, very interesting chart, making moves right now in a in a other direction. Very 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 interesting to see where Litecoin goes right now. You'll notice that on the four hour we are. Currently going back down, most likely to retest this line of, of support. You notice we did pretty much come back up to retest that um, line of middle moving average. We did come up to retest that. Obviously, could not break through and are falling now, but this line still holds true. We have used it as support. Hopefully, we don't come back down, retest it, and break lower. It is possible, but we will see. We are looking to see a breakout now, though. We pretty much have completed the pattern. We are looking to get it to an E point and eventually a break in the upwards direction. So stay tuned for that. Litecoin does seem to have a lot of potential. Bitcoin also doing a very similar motion. You'll notice that we did retest the middle moving average twice now. You notice once here, couldn't break through. Again, could not break through. And we are most likely going to come back up and retest it a third time and hopefully have enough pressure that we can break through it. But you'll notice that Litecoin and Bitcoin are both very similar patterns they're both making. So keep a note on that. Make sure you, you're watching that. That's very interesting. Um, Ethereum, I don't know why this got rid of my lines. So probably getting a TradingView account, a pro, will benefit the page greatly because my lines will actually stay. But let's just draw this downwards trend very noticeable downward trend quite interesting if you ask me i'm honestly going to say it's something like that for a second we did have a breakout for for the most part it's pretty much looking something like this i'd say if not maybe like yeah that looks about right you'll notice for the most part we are having this downwards trending and what it seems like we are going to head to for Litecoin is probably this line of support here, if not this line of support here. It's going to be one of these two lines. So interesting chart Ethereum seems to be drawing. You can tell on the daily, we, I mean on the, yeah, on the daily chart, we are extremely oversold. Uh, that means we are pretty much ending this run, I, I believe, this negative downtrend. I do think we will have potential and we will break through it very soon. Um, I do think that we will probably hit this range here 
And I think either once we hit here, we're going to pop out, or if we hit here, we're going to pop out. And when and that happens, I do plan on buying Ethereum. Probably within the next few days, we can see a breakout. But I do plan on buying some Ethereum or moving money into there because that is a very, very, very nice, interesting trend, I would say, that I, I, can, I can see a breaking out very soon. But I'm not a financial advisor, so whatever you want to do with your money is completely your responsibility. But I'm definitely going to pay attention to Ethereum right now because that does seem to be a good position to break upwards, just like what Storm did. So even if we go from 4 to... 780 that's that's a big profit to to make in the short term so definitely pay attention to that because i do see potential there let's check out eos this is my first time looking at eos so i appreciate the comment Ooh, interesting chart i'd say where to start huh this is a tough graph to draw i'm not gonna lie it's like this is a point within its it's its own line right here and then like something like this maybe another downtrend interesting there are lines of support those are the easiest to draw but that's a very you know seems to be a very interesting graph to draw from a technical standpoint clear lines of support though i if i do say Right there, right there, and then literally where it's at right now. Thank you, Jamie Wilson, for the comment. Much love, appreciated. Um, yeah, definitely some key lines of support here and resistance, but we are seeing a few a few downtrends right now. So bear in mind that it it's tough. From the from the way it's looking right now, is we do seem to be bearish. I'm I'm kind of bearish on EOS, and to explain why, let's add in the RSI, if, we, if that's will allow us. Okay, yeah, there. I don't know how that popped up. Why I say I'm bearish is because we have this downtrend here that we can't break through. Also, we just retested that uh, middle moving average and we couldn't break through. So now we're going downwards, yet we are using this as support, so we might be able to bounce. But until we can break through this downtrend and go above this middle moving average, I'm going to be quite bearish on EO. So as, as for a long-term standpoint, sure, I can't give you my opinion on that, but a short-term... I wouldn't suggest buying into EOS right now because I do think there will be other cryptocurrencies that are more efficient and you can make a better profit. For example, I think Ethereum is a lot better if you wanted to put your money somewhere because I think based on the way this is looking, this is a coin I would recommend that I would see breaking out a lot sooner than EOS. EOS, I, this, but the way this chart is, I can't really pass judgment, but... The way Ethereum is looking is something is definitely going to happen here. And by the way it looks that we are extremely oversold, I wouldn't be surprised if we popped out. So definitely pay attention to Ethereum. But otherwise, that's going to sum up the video for today, guys. So I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below as to what your favorite altcoin is. And I will see you guys tomorrow.